Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano and today we have our patient here. Um, now she found me, she actually is a student over at Clemson and she's been telling me that she's been having some upper back issues so we are going to address that today. Um, anything in particular that I should know about? Uh, no. Not really? Okay. Alright, so yeah, it's just like you said, mainly just the mm -hmm. upper back. Okay. So this is what we're going to be focusing on today. It's going to be right through here. Um, any questions for me? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you lay face down on the table for me. Good. So now with every patient, what I do is I'm going to scan the entire body. We want to make sure and we want to check for the symmetry. So everything that I'm feeling on one half of the body, I want to feel on the other half of the body. So I'm going to start with doing a palpation. I'm going to palpate up through the neck. And what I'm feeling for, I'm feeling for tight muscles, any, any taut or tender fibers. So I'm noticing a little bit on this left side more compared to the right. Do you notice that when I'm pushing into? Yeah. Okay. So she does notice, you know, in that area, just a little bit of tension. Okay. And then, so this is your main problematic area, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, as, well, you got to imagine as being a student, um, geez, I could imagine between books you're carrying, just uh, so much going on between sitting at a desk, studying, just all your everyday things, I, I could grant that you are probably not in the best posture at all times. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, I mean, it's completely okay. Obviously, that's why we, you know, we need like uh, maintenance type adjustments, keep your body aligned. I know when you're back home, you have your, you know, your current chiropractor that you go to, but, you know, while you're away at school, it's a little bit difficult. So, all right, another area that I'm noticing is right through here, more on this right side. Oh, yeah, that one hurts. Okay, and that one hurts is what she's claiming. So, yeah, I can definitely really feel some tender uh, muscle fibers right on that right side. So I'm going to come down also. This is from that upper thoracic. We're going to go in that mid-back and then going into the upper lumbar spine area. So the right side is kind of pushing back a little bit more than the left. So we're getting a little bit of rotation like this. And now when we come into the, the lumbar spine, any pain over the right side? No. Good. Any pain over the left side? No. Any pain right over the center of the sacrum? No. Good. Okay, so no issues going on in the low back. So it's mainly between the mid-back and that upper back. So we're going to come down here. We're always going to check the leg length on every patient here. So when we check the leg length, it is almost near perfect. The right leg is just a tiny bit shorter than the left. Another thing that we always do in every patient is we take a glance up the entire patient. So one thing that we're seeing is a little bit raised on the left side. So we're leaning a little bit here, but right through here, and this is going to be her main area, in the mid-back here, that right side is raised up a little bit higher here. So we're going to focus right through here and then right up here. So these are going to be our main areas today. So let's go ahead and dive on in. We're going to start right up here, as I do every time, at that cervical thoracic junction. Okay. So we're going to start off on that T1 on the left. Good. Got quite a bit of movement with that one. We're going to drop down just a little bit, T2 on the right here. There we go. Got a ton of movement there. Okay. So let's go through, now we're going to go through this upper back, that upper thoracic area. So we're going to feel, feel a little bit more tension like we did earlier, right on that right side. So we're still portraying the same spot. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and then exhale all the way out. Good. That was a ton of movement there. We're gonna drop down a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. And exhale all the way out. Good. Okay. So we have that one little raised side here on the right, so we're gonna address that. And then we had no issues in that lower back. Okay, good. So this right here, this is more of an, 
of an L1, L2 issue. It's sitting real up high, so it's gonna be a little bit different of doing an adjustment, but what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you lay on your side and face me. We're gonna bend this top knee. Yep, just like that. Good, and we're gonna have you flip to the other side. Lay flat on your back for me. Okay, so we're going to make sure and check the leg length. As we can tell, we're looking at the heels here. So if you were to come in, our heels are looking actually rather real nice and flat. But even in the beginning, so one thing like we said before, her, her leg length was actually really good to, to start with. So that was a good thing here. Um, what we're going to have you do, I'm going to have you stand up for me. I just want to make sure because your chief complaint was that mm -hmm. upper thoracic area. Um, I want to make sure the spine is all cleared out. So mm -hmm. I'm going to have you take a step in front of me. Yep. Okay. I want your arms out by your side. Good. And I'm going to have you put your hands over mine. Yep. Now I'm going to lean you back on me and I want you to bring your elbows together. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you feel that one? Yeah. Well? Okay. Have you ever had that move done before? No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So that also that also helped clear everything out through yeah. here. Yeah. So now what I want to do, I'm going to have you take a seat at the edge of the table right here. Get the face this way. So we are going to do the Y strap. So I know this is, as you told me, you've never had this done yeah. before. Um, it's very simple. We have the Y strap is gonna wrap around that base of the ox foot. I stand at the top of the table and I'm gonna distract in the Y axis direction. Literally, I just do a, a okay. slight pull and then you'll feel that distraction start going down throughout the entire spine. Okay. So, I'm gonna place this over. If you can pull your hair through for me. Perfect. I'm gonna have you lay back. You can keep your knees bent off the table. Yep. And then, so for today that you've never had it done, I, I don't start like at full force or anything. Okay. It, it'll be a lot lighter. So it may not go all the way down to like your lumbar, sacral spine. It may just go into the thoracic spine today. Mm -hmm. um, just because I'm not going to use the full amount of force as I normally would. Um, okay. But the whole point of this adjustment, the nerves exit at every level of the spine. So what I'm doing is I'm taking pressure off of every nerve going all the way down. Um, when you remove pressure off the spine, it allows the body to heal and function better. So okay. this is what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna distract out in this direction. And how would you describe that? Oh, that was so weird. I don't know. <laughs> I felt, like wasn't expecting it. You felt how that just pulled yeah. the right part? Now granted, I went very light with that. Mm -hmm. How far down did you feel it? Like here. Okay, so roughly about, about this far down. So right around, you know, going all the way through the thoracic probably stopped right at around L1 is where she pointed to. So yeah, mm -hmm. that was just a very light pull. Have you ever had anything done like no. that? No. Okay, yeah. Typically, a lot of people haven't had that type of adjustment. Yeah. But as you can tell, that move just releases a lot of pressure, just opens mm -hmm. everything up. Now, how do you feel compared to when you first came in to now? Good, notice, a lot better, yeah. You know, like, kind of like more like loose. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good, perfect. Um, any questions, concerns, anything from me? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano, everybody, and this is one of the main things that I'll do when a patient comes in, especially a student, um, the things that I'll do for that upper thoracic spine. Um, you know, we did a few different techniques to open up and release that entire area, and I mean, that was the main thing of why she came here. So, if anyone is looking to schedule an appointment, um, you can go on my website at, you know, drjosephcipriano.com. Send me an email through there and I respond to all my emails. So, have a good one, everybody.